I didn't feel pressure, but I definitely felt like I wanted to kind of honor Rusty Russell. And Monita, we have a chance to make a real difference here. They're going to want you to win. Everybody's going to be behind the team with nothing. Well, what a great story. I love this couple, uh, Rusty Russell and Juanita Russell. I mean, good people, right? And in real life, they gave up. They could have made money somewhere else, but they went to this orphanage during the Great Depression to help out um, these needy kids. Yeah, I think that was something that appealed to both Vanessa and I about, you know, just like you were saying, they were very selfless people and they'd left this one kind of prestigious school district in Texas and moved to Fort Worth to take over this Masonic orphanage. And they truly didn't know what they were getting into. The the school and the buildings and the kids, they were all kind of down on their luck. And so they took a real chance uh, with, with their own family to kind of enter into this situation and this challenge. Yeah, Juanita is just, you know, a classic, strong, you know, mother of the house, you know, basically character. And um, yeah, it was so wonderful to see her on screen because usually these women are behind the scenes, you know, behind the man, behind in the home. So you don't see them, but we all grown up with them. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's a um, teacher. So she does everything too. As well. She, you know, helps kids and gives them hope as well. Exactly. So she's a force to be reckoned with, but also is warm and kind, just like her husband and basically, you know, bring give these children hope, which, you know, society had not given them and will never give them unless someone like these two come along. And for you, Luke, what's it like representing? You're a Texan. This is a Texas story, famous story uh, from what I hear. What's it like representing your home state? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, you know, that was one of the reasons for, for me wanting to do it was, and Vanessa knows what it's like, where so rarely do you get to to make a, a movie in the place where it actually occurred, you know, the, you'll, you'll be shooting in Atlanta and it's supposed to be, you know, California or you're, you're in Toronto and it's supposed to be Manhattan. So to get to do a, a Texas story in Fort Worth, the town where it actually took place was, was really fun. And I, I did feel, um, I didn't feel pressure, but I definitely felt like I wanted to kind of honor Rusty Russell and honor that, that kind of spirit that he and his wife Juanita had, that kind of can-do, quietly decent spirit that doesn't seem to be around in such great quantities anymore. Yes. Speaking of anymore, I mean, it's good to uh, see a feel-good movie that really provides what a, lot, what a lot of people have been talking about lately is like just giving the youth hope. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think one of our goals early on when we were making it, we just had a simple you know, idea like, gosh, it would be great to release this during football season. And now I think with everything that's happened in the movie that we wound up with, when we when we'd finished it, we thought, well, gosh, this is bigger than just football. This is, you know, about having a certain spirit and kind of getting through hardships and kind of different people coming together. And, the, you know, that kind of great underdog spirit that people respond to. So, yeah, I think we're, we all feel very lucky to have it coming out now and coming out in the theater where people can all kind of go into that kind of dark room together and kind of uh, leave, leave, leave everything outside behind. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Vanessa, you want to add? No, I just, I, I also think, you know, it is the timing, but, uh, you know, What's so incredible, and I think most people don't know this, is that a lot of the boys, um, especially of the, the cast, had their own like hard knock life. And basically, we're using all of what, their own pain into the, and putting them into the characters, basically. It was really inspiring to hear their stories and how they pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps to create you know, their own lives. So I feel like, everyone's going to really relate to this story because they've kind of gone through it themselves and, mm -hmm. um, you know, added really kind of grit to the characters. Well, one of our story, I really, really enjoyed it. I didn't, I didn't hear about this uh, person and this home. So thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Lupe. Okay. Thanks for taking the time. Sure. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.